It used to be that getting a tattoo in Hong Kong meant one of two things: that you were either a rebel trying to make a point, or a member of one of the city's feared triad gangs. The choice of designs was limited to the standard fare found elsewhere. But with its recent popularity, there are those now trying to breathe new life into the tradition. From the back alleys and dark rooms, a new form of tattooing is rising in the east. In her modern studio, Joey Pang is the very portrait of an artist. She spends weeks, sometimes months, on a piece. Each one an original, and infused with a style that finds its roots. In another creative form, Pang is the world's only tattooist who's also professionally trained in Chinese calligraphy. And through years of experimentation, she's learned how to transfer the ancient strokes from the paper canvas to the human one. Her mission to convince the wider art world that tattooing should be equally respected. I want tattoo culture. To be at the mainstream, just like、um, art, like music, that is part of people's life. Her passion has put her in such demand that people wait two years for an appointment. A session can cost thousands of dollars. Throws Bager is a dancer from Denmark. I really feel like it's a piece of artwork, but it's not only just on my body; it's kind of a part of me now. While tattoos have become largely accepted as art, can one be compared equally to a work by Picasso, Rembrandt, or Monet? Is there a difference between a living canvas and one made of other materials? Convinced they are one and the same, one of Hong Kong's elite furniture makers commissioned Pang to create her own line. Collectors from as far away as the Middle East have bought her pieces. She now has a manager. Something innate, something inherent in people, they want to have beauty in their lives, and I think that that kind of、um, quest or yearning or feeling will always be present. And Joey Pang hopes people will continue to find that beauty in her work, proving the art of tattooing can be much more than just skin deep. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.